What's up guys, Fusion here, bringing you another Minecraft video. I am with Cable7. What's up, YouTube? And we are introducing you guys to the Noob Manual. Yes, the Noob Manual. For all of our videos thus far, like 50, 56? Something like that. Ish. In the 50s, maybe yeah, 60s. We, we, we have not had a video for you noobs out there who just discovered Minecraft and want to explore its endless opportunities and awesomeness yeah for you guys who have just been tuning into our videos to watch us play the game and you actually don't have the game and you're just like here for some entertainment or something so we're gonna show you actually how to start Jump out in minecraft, minecraft or you just bought minecraft yes so i'm gonna mm -hmm. show you how to start out and survive and thrive well mckay is yep and as you can see from this little spot that we've begun minecraft it's very beautiful. This is all naturally spawned. This this little waterfall and everything. Minecraft, which I think, is the best piece. Most of their worlds, well, pretty much all of the vanilla worlds that you get, are randomly generated, except for that cobblestone right there. <laughs> One of our server members just placed it there. Probably McKay. Oh. Of, ah. of course, you're in the waterfall. Ow. Okay, so why don't we get started? <laughs> Don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> That's <laughs> lesson number one. Also, switch the time today. This is the only time that we are using commands. You can do it. Yep. I'm in the F1 and F8 time. mode. I'll do it. Time set zero. F1 removes okay, your heads so up display and F8. You'll makes start the game probably going. not with mountains in the way and the sun will be over there. Yes, that's right. And throughout the day, a course of 10 minutes will pass and the sun will rise and set over there. Your goal within the first day of your Minecraft day is to scout out and mine yourself a tree. Number one. Wood. It all comes back to wood Over in there. Minecraft. Get it. Everything you need is wood. So there. A tree. We must go. So, And the Minecraft. reason I can fly is because I'm in creative mode. I'm doing this for the sake of wander wandering around behind McKay and being able to fly. You yeah. can't actually I'm in survival fly. Mode. Yes. I have the food meter and the hearts. Now, you're going to come up to this tree and you're going to go, what the heck, how am I going to get this tree? And you're going to start punching it with your fists, holding down the left mouse button to punch that tree down, and then it's going to pop out. And laws of physics are going to make you go, what the heck, because the tree won't... <laughs> uh, this isn't physically possible. This is perfectly um, normal. Yeah, it's normal, don't worry. And it will not fall on top of you, or else that would really now, suck. Notice how I'm standing on the bottom stump. This is actually a nice trick to get to the top of the trees, because sometimes trees just spawn one block too high, and floating trees are really annoying. Like those so over now there. I'll just hit under myself, which you should never do, but since I know the block under this tree is dirt, I'm safe to do it. So now. Oh crap, we didn't think of something, Trevor. How are we going to show them inventory stuff? Woohoo! I can change over to um, survival mode. Oh, switch over to survival mode. I'll toss you the wood. All right, let's do this. All right, Mr. Newbie. Now take that wood you have in your hand, press E, and open your inventory. Mm -hmm. Click on your wood, drag it into the crafting square, and shift-click the wooden planks so that you take all the wooden planks from your wood and put it in an inventory slot. Shift right click, by the way. It is shift right. I shift left click all the time. Hmm. Oh well. <laughs> so, now take your wooden planks, left click on them, drag them to your crafting square, and then right click one time in every box to drop one wooden plank into every square. This will make you a crafting table, which should look like that. Yeah, that. Crafting table you can use to craft everything in Minecraft. And it's pretty much the basic tool that you will use. People do class don't classify it as a tool, but it is a tool, very important tool. So just right click on your item to use it, left click to break it. You can right hold it down and break it, and you can right click to break. Yes. Okay. And we're going to put grab your grab your planks. Put one plank down and then another plank on top of it. It doesn't matter where. Just have one plank down, the other one on top. This will make you sticks. 
sticks you're going to need to make torches and tools, which are very important. And lots of other things like ladders and fences and so, so forth. So make yourself some sticks. Don't use all the wooden planks because you're going to need some for building or for crafting. Now take some of those sticks. Put one stick in the bottom middle square. Put the other stick in the middle middle square. Middle middle. Then take <laughs> planks. Take your planks and put one in the top left square, the top middle square, and the top right square. So the full top row should be full, and the stick should be right down the middle in the bottom two rows. And with crafting, a pickaxe. And with crafting, you're pretty much drawing the tool that you want to make in the crafting table. As you can see, the pickaxe looks like this, and that's pretty much what I just did in the crafting square. Trevor, go through and show them a sword and a hoe and a shovel and all that stuff but don't craft it all right a sword is like this one stick in the bottom middle and then a wooden plank stone or my mind just went blank i'm sorry uh, iron <laughs> and diamond you can either you you can swap it out with these tools gold yeah gold you don't want to craft anything with that so here we go actually gold is a good item yeah whatever okay so that makes a wooden sword right here this makes a wooden hoe and you can use this to till grass to make farmland which you can plant seeds on right here is a wooden axe okay so let's get some stone and you just one second. went into game mode one that's okay I'm just gonna show them some stuff okay so this is all right <laughs> Here we have a wooden sword. This is the worst tool, and just imagine this is any tool. This could be a wood pick, it could be a wood shovel, a wood anything. This is the weakest tool that you can ever have. You never really want items made of wood, but Actually, since wood is your... gold is weaker than wood, because oh. gold is a soft metal. Yeah, but gold. gold. Gold mines gold really fast. Gold is weaker. Um, so wood, that's right there. Stone is the next level up, I'd say. Yep. Uh, this is my opinion. Some people would make gold the next level up, but I say stone. So, stone is slightly stronger than wood when it comes to fighting. When it comes to mining, it is significantly faster. And you can mine pretty much any normal block with stone if you're using a pick. Um, iron, would be, oh, iron is the next level up. Um, iron is mine significantly faster than stone it does tons more damage and it's probably the most common higher three item you can have uh, top three power um, iron is required to mine diamonds and gold when using a pickaxe you can't mine diamonds or gold with a stone sword or its own pick um, so yeah iron the next level up I'd say gold is the next level up, but that's just me. Some people would put it before uh, stone or in between stone and yeah. iron. It's because that gold is pretty rare, but it's not that great for tools. It's better for powered mine tracks and like crafting it into gold blocks for decoration. But if you do happen to make it into a tool, it is the fastest mining tool in the game. It'll just break super mega fast so a gold pickaxe is actually faster than a, than a diamond pickaxe but it's, it is yes it is but it's durability. And a gold weapon a gold weapon will kill something in one hit Bam. i did Dead. not i did not know that actually and the durability Diamonds. on gold the is dur worse than wooden yeah so. worse than wooden diamond the most precious resource you will ever find in Minecraft, other than possibly some other dimensions, but we're not going to go into those because you're still a noob and it'll just hurt your little tiny brain. <laughs> <laughs> Diamond, yes. Diamond. 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 It is the most durable item in the game. Nothing. I say nothing will last longer than a diamond. Diamonds are forever. Uh, I wish. But they have yeah. crazy long durability. <laughs> crazy long. And they mine pretty fast, too. Yep. Faster than iron. But not as fast as gold. Fail on the keyboard touch. Because <laughs> I, don't, I don't use a mouse wheel. I use... 
touching the numbers. I'm in that way I'm probably still noob, but I've trained myself to switch between one, two, and three really fast. Yeah. Alright. Um Yeah. That's tools. Um now we're going to go back into real life. You'd have a lot more time than that. As you can see, the sun over there is starting to set a little bit. You would probably be done mining the tree while it's still way over there. Um, after you mine the tree, you can have a few choices. You can either go mine more trees, make yourself a pick, and go find some coal. Uh, start killing some animals. There are a few basic animals in the game. There's cows. As you can see, there's some cows over there. Cows drop leather and beef. Beef you can use to fill that hunger meteor of yours. And leather you can use to make some basic armor. Pigs, they're those pink things over there. They drop pork chops, and that's so far all they drop right now as of Minecraft 1.0. And you just use that to fill your hunger meter. There's also sheep in the world. I don't think there's a sheep around here. But there are sheep in the world. They drop wool, and you use wool to make beds, which are very important. You should get one it's an essential. between day, between between day one and two, as late as day three. If you have one any later than day three, it just becomes a pain to survive the night. A bed lets you skip the entire night and head straight to day. Now we're gonna cheat and give ourselves a little more daytime. I'm gonna try uh, and get the frick. Okay, there we go. So that ore right there, it looks like stone except for the black spots in it. That's how every ore looks. So what I'm going to need to do is get over there and then just mine it up with my pickaxe. And... Should I? Yeah, I can just go for it right here. I'll catch it. Okay, so you can see it drops these little black, like, coal. Looking these things. things. Yep, black. Coal lumps. Yep. And these are used for fuel in a furnace to smelt iron and different items to cook food and everything and also for torches which is a necessity in this game so after you cut yourself down your tree your probably your main goal is to make a wooden pick and get yourself some coal as fast as possible as well as a good supply of stone before that pick dies as you can see under the pit item like a pick or a sword there's a little bar that's green as that bar decreases, your tool is getting less and less durable and will break when it reaches zero. So now Fusion's gonna mine some stone until his pick breaks, and we're gonna fast forward this. Until my pick breaks? Aww. Yeah, get going. <sighs> Let's go for this. Alright, you can either use up your entire wooden pickaxe, like McKay, I guess. Or you could do something like me and keep your first pickaxe for this world that you made. Uh, that's what I like to do. It's just like, you know, it's fun to do. It's fun to have. All right. So once you get enough stone, about three stone for another pickaxe, you'll just do the same thing that you did with the wooden Hi, stone. Hi, guys. Uh, okay. And replace it with this cobblestone. All right. Cobblestone is what you get for mining stone. I don't think I mentioned that. And this one... So It'll be, f you can mine faster than wood. As you can see here, I'll compare. There we go. So you can mine faster than wood with stone. And you can also mine iron ore. Um, hmm. I'll go look around for it. Ow. <laughs> no, don't, don't <laughs> bother with iron ore. It's ju it just looks like coal, but it has little gray bits in it. Yeah. So nice job. You just leveled up from wood to iron, to stone, <laughs> yeah, iron, yeah. So there we go. Iron. Now it should. So now your main goal should probably be finding some sheep, unless it's getting late. If it's getting late, you should find yourself some shelter and craft yourself some torches. So fusion, do you still have sticks? Yes, I do, and you have my coal. And here's that coal that I was catching for you. Thank you. So this is what coal looks like. Here, I'll put it on and the ground. And this is how you craft a torch. Craft yourself a torch for you. Okay. So it's pretty much coal on a stick. There we go. And it gives you four torches for every... Here, I can go like this. For every one. See, I, just with one of those resources, I can get four torches. So, one, two, three, four. Also, I don't think we mentioned placing down objects is a right click. <laughs> so, 
Right click places or uses items, left click destroys or attacks with them. Yep. Okay. So it's gonna get late soon, so let's go find a shelter. We're also Now we will show you sheep, but actually no, we won't show you sheep. So when you kill enough sheep you get wool. Uh this is what wool looks like here. Fusion here. Hold on, I gotta kill this pig. Time to die. <laughs> Watch this guys, I'm gonna 360 this pig. Oh fail. Okay, that was a disgrace. <laughs> Trev, get up. <laughs> there we go. So I got some raw pork chop. You planks, don't you? I have wooden planks. Yes, I do. How many? I have 13. All right. Get up here. Okay. I'm also going to craft a furnace, which is like the oven in Minecraft. You can cook food. I already said this, but oh well. I'll show you how to make I a furnace. Think you did, actually. I did. A furnace is just filling up the perimeter of the crafting square with cobblestone. And there you go. And the fuel, as I stated before, is coal, or you could use wood or sticks, but coal is the most productive. And let's cook this raw pork chop. This is the meter. As you can see, it's cooking, and this is where the output is going to be. So we just wait a second here, and cook pork chop. In the meantime, come up here, my friend. Um, nom, nom, nom. So you will... See, that filled your food meter, and the way you regain life is if your food meter is full. So if you're hurting pretty bad, you better eat some food and just chill out for a second. Here, let me hurt you a little bit. PvP is not on on this server. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Anyways, you'll get yourself some wool from a sheep. Here you go. You'll get yourself about three wool to make a bed, and you'll craft yourself a bed as follows. All right, so crafting a bed... Um, is three wooden planks on the bottom, but don't click on that yet. That's three wooden slabs, and you do not want wooden slabs for this. Then you just put wool on top, and there you go. You got a bed. The wool can be any color, Yes. but we'll get on to different colored wool later. Um, so that's a bed. You use beds to sleep through the night and make it day immediately. If it was night, then very, I would get in. Very, very useful. And it also resets your spawn points, so when you die, it'll go to the last bed that you slept in. But if you sleep in a bed, you reset your spawn point, and then you break the bed and then die, then it'll just reset you to your actual main spawn point in your world. So. Alright, so, you got yourself a bed, some torches, a nice supply of wood. Well, you should have a nice supply of wood. We don't exactly have a nice supply of wood. You should have found some coal... And so you have a surplus of coal even though you still have torches and it's getting late you better find yourself a shelter otherwise the things at night will come out and kill you yes so there's many different things you can do on your first night you can build yourself a wood shack or well you can build a shack out of anything really you can just even use dirt punching it out with your fists and stuff I have creative mode on so I destroyed blocks instantly <laughs> <laughs> Or you could just dig yourself a cave out, or go hide in a cave that's already in existence. So, Trevor, you get to be the player right now. You pick one. Well, here's this convenient cave nearby, so why don't we go for it? But careful when you're going into a cave that's on the side of a mountain. Uh, it may contain bad guys, so... This seems pretty peaceful. So let's just seal this off. In so, heh <laughs> okay. You're gonna get stuck. Hmm? <laughs> oh. It's alright. I got creative mode on. I'll just walk through. The reason I'm making this like, <laughs> shut up, like a back door, is so that mobs do not come through and kill me from behind. Now you would have your bed with you, but Fusion left it outside, so I'll just spawn Actually, one. Actually, I have one. So. <laughs> oh, alright. Cool. So it gets dark, and lots of bad stuff comes out uh -huh. at night, but you should have yourself a nice little place to hang out and survive the night. While you're hanging out, if you're in a cave, you might want to do some mining so that you have yourself some supplies. And maybe find some iron if you're super lucky. Or, I guess you could try to survive the oh, night. Oh, by the way, that was a wooden but... door. I did that pretty fast, sorry. <laughs> I'm not used to going slow when I'm crafting. So there we go, that's a wooden door. You just right-click it, or you can punch it to open and close. And, yes. Alright, so... Um, none of that. Hey, 
<laughs> I was going to sleep. Yes, you would use your bed to sleep through the night. But we're going to give ourselves a little tutorial on monsters. Here, Trev. You have a sword, but okay. <laughs> Take a sword and wait, get back here. With the leather that you get from cows, you could spawn, you can create some armor. We're not going to show you how to do this since this is only a new manual. We'll show you the basics of Minecraft. If you want to find out more stuff on like crafting recipes, check out the wiki or watch our advanced Minecraft tutorial. So now we're going to go out at night. We're going to show you all the monsters if we can find and all. The link for both of those videos and the wiki will be in the description below. So, so. Here we have ourselves a skeleton. Hello. These little bad boys have bows and arrows, and they shoot you from range. And they're faggots. They are really annoying if you don't have any armor, but if you have armor, these guys are a cinch. You oh. just pretty much walk up to them and cut their face off. Are you in creative mode? There's another skeleton. I don't think you got hurt. Uh, I didn't. I'm in creative mode. Yeah. Here we have our... Oh, yeah. Skeletons, they drop bones and arrows. Arrows you can use in bows as a weapon and ammunition. Bones you can use to make bone meal to make plants grow really fast. Or you can use them... Actually, I think that's all bones are used yep. for. Trevor, where do you go? I'm over here just owning these skeletons. So as you can see, on your descent, um, when you jump in on your descent... Uh, oh, there's a spider behind you. Oh, friend. hey. If you can... So spiders... Ow. Are these little black devils? They drop string and spider eyes, which Trevor just looted. Spider eyes are used in brewing. We're probably not gonna go over that at all. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we will in the advanced videos. Um, and string you can use to make a bow or fishing. And wool. Ah, we have ourselves. We got lucky. Here's the other two monsters. Uh, unless you want to count Enderman as monster, but here we have ourselves a zombie, the basic melee unit of the monster forces. They just run up to you and bite your face off. They drop rotten flesh, which is a food source, but I don't recommend it because it'll get yourself hungry. Uh, um, and when you're hungry, you take damage. That's a creeper. They're suicide bombers. Run away, Trevor. Oh, and that uh, skeleton wanted a little bit of that suicide bombers. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Anyways, so zombies, and if you're in a completely safe area, you can eat rotten flesh perfectly fine. Just make sure that you're not hungry when you get, decide to go out into the world, because it'll even make fall damage to hurt you more. Now, creepers, that green thing that was long, strange looking and had no arms, was that ran up to Trevor and exploded. That's a creeper. Stay um, away from them. They're kamikaze. They're very strange. You never forget your first creeper. I remember my first creeper. I actually creeper. don't remember my first creeper. <laughs> oh, and there's, oh, a, well, there's a creeper four. You're not cool. Here's loads of creepers. Uh, if you manage to kill a creeper without it self-destructing, it'll drop gunpowder, which you can use to make tea and Do not tea. try and kill creepers on your first night. It is insanely hard. I still have nightmares. Hey. About Speaking creepers. of which, there's some gunpowder, and there's a zombie about to give you a back. Ah. <laughs> He's about to give you a back rub. Oh, and these green little orbs on the ground. Uh, they're used for enchantments and just ignore for now. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the basics of Minecraft. Uh, you mine yourself some trees, make some torches, uh, build some shelters, kill some uh, monsters, make some food. We'll go over advanced videos, tips and tricks later. And we're actually going to go ahead and go with the noob in a multiplayer server video. So stay tuned for yep. that. Click the link, the annotation, top right, or link in the description, and ha 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 ha. Faggot zombie. Alright, we'll see you there. Goodbye. Bye. Bye, zombie. You're a fag. Ow, Enderman. Enderman. Alright, let's go to the village. Oh. Oh. Look at him. Don't. Oh. Resume Actually, the video. Resume I know, the video. I never stop. Don't look at an Enderman, by the way. I just did, for example. Uh, uh, looking at an Enderman will aggro it and make it come and attack they teleport you. teleport around. They're really uh, mean. <laughs> they do take damage in water, though, so if you're still a noob and you don't really want to fight them, <gasps> just take a swim, and they will bother you. As it touches the water, it gets hurt, and it'll teleport well, Zombies away. and creepers don't care about water! <laughs> it'll also get unaggroed from off of you, so it won't attack you anymore when you come out, but... If you have aggroed uh, Enderman, 
If you have aggroed an Enderman and you don't kill it, and it's still aggroed on you, you, the next time you go to sleep, it'll kill you when you're sleeping. <laughs> Which is quite sad. Oh my gosh, that's horrible. Alright, anyways guys? It, it is. I've never had it happen to me, personally. I think we've covered it all. So? Well, pretty much the basics. We'll go over the advanced stuff and tips and tricks yes, later. We shall. Alright, thanks for watching this we'll long tutorial. Um... Stay tuned for more and subscribe if this helped you out. Also, like this video. It helps us a lot. And if you liked it and it helped you out and you aren't getting owned by creepers now because you know not to fight them, then yeah, go ahead. Ah, faggot. Okay. Well, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Ah, okay, and bye. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye.